This is Caitlin Bolt, and I'm here to talk to you about Clostridium difficile, aka C. diff. It is one of the most common nosocomial infections that's out there. C. diff is an anaerobic gram-positive force-forming rod that's found in normal flora of the GI tract. It produces spores that form exotoxins A and B. These spores are shed in feces. The cause of C. diff is the disruption of normal gastrointestinal flora. These exotoxins affect GI tract by producing fluid and mucus secretions that cause inflammation, damaged mucus lining, diarrhea, and colitis. Risk factors for C. diff include prolonged antibiotic exposure, GI surgery or GI manipulation, immunocompromised conditions, use of proton pump inhibitor medications, and lengthy stays in healthcare facilities, also advanced age. C. diff can live on surfaces for up to six months, and it's ingested via fecal-oral route. Flagyl and vancomycin are typically used as treatment for for C. diff. Patients in hospitals who have been diagnosed with C. diff are placed on special enteric contact isolation. These patients are in a private room and employees entering this room must wear gloves and gowns. Prevention of C. diff is hand washing using soap and warm water because alcohol-based hand sanitizers do not effectively just destroy the C. difficile spores. In the hospital setting, all surfaces should be carefully cleaned and disinfected with a hospital-grade sporicidal. C. Diff C. Difficult difficile spores can survive routine cleaning products and do not, that do not complain a spore contain a sporicidal. This is what C. diff looks like on your hands. And this is why you cannot use an alcohol-based sanitizer. You can still see particles on the hands. This is why you must wash your hands with warm water and soap. Now let's see what her hands look like. All clear here? All clear here. When a patient is on these precautions, this sign will be outside of the door. It lets you know that whoever enters must perform hand hygiene wear gloves, wear a gown, and dedicate patient care equipment. It also reminds other employees to limit the movement and transportation of the patient, patient throughout the hospital. On the other side, it provides a little bit more information about the use of contact precautions special enteric. This sign can only be removed by environmental services. Thank you for watching 
my presentation on this little nasty guy right here.